access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the 24-hour survival phrases PDF cheat sheet. Do you know enough of the language to survive for 24 hours? If not, then this survival phrases cheat sheet will help you get by. Second, the how are you and how to answer it writing workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll learn all the ways to ask and answer the question, how are you? And you'll be able to practice writing the phrases out as well. Download it for free right now. Third, 30 music words for beginners. Learn how to say song, lyrics, melody, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Fourth, can you talk about roads in your target language? Learn how to say road, highway, crosswalk, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fifth, must know Father's Day vocabulary. Can you say Father's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one minute vocabulary lesson. Sixth, free language learning audiobooks. Want free access to our huge library of beginner level audiobooks? Then click the link below, save the audiobooks to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 31% off all premium or premium plus plans with the pretty big deal sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. This is Karen Lee, and she's at City Hall, registering her address. The civil servant who is helping her says, Miss Lee, your email address, please. Lee さん、メールアドレスをお願いします。Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Ready? Lee さん、メールアドレスをお願いします。私のメールアドレスは、k-a-r-e-n アットマーク、イノラング、Once more with the English translation. Lee さん、メールアドレスをお願いします。Miss Lee, your email address, please. 私のメールアドレスは、k-a-r-e-n アットマーク、イノラング、ドットコムです。My email address is k a r e n at inolang dot com. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how the civil servant says, "Miss Lee, your email address, please"? Lee さん、メールアドレスをお願いします。First is Lee さん、Miss Lee。Lee さん。This starts with Karen's family name. Lee。Lee。Lee。Lee。After this is さん。A polite suffix added to a person's name. さん。さん。The suffix can be used with any gender and translates as miss in Karen's case. Together it's Lee さん Miss Lee Lee さん Next is メールアドレス Email address メールアドレスメールアドレス This word has two parts. First is メール A commonly used abbreviation for email. メール,メール Next is アドレス Address. アドレス,アドレス Together. メールアドレス Email address. メールアドレス Remember this because you'll see it again in Karen's response. Next is お the object marking particle. お Think of お as a marker for the thing receiving the action. In this sentence, it marks メールアドレス email address.
as the object being requested. Last is お願いします. Please. お願いします. お願いします. Altogether, it's Lee-san, mail address をお願いします. This literally means Miss Lee, email address, please, but translates as Miss Lee, your email address, please. Lee-san, mail address をお願いします. Note the your in your email address is understood from the context of the two person conversation. Omitting understood information is common in Japanese. Remember this request. You'll hear it again later. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Karen says, My email address is k a r e n at inolang.com? わたしのメールアドレスはkaren.inolang.comです。First is わたしのmy わたしの。This starts with わたし。I わたし。わたし。after this is no the possessive marking particle no no together it's watashi no my watashi no next do you remember how to say email address mail address email address mail address Together, mail address. My email address. Mail address. Next is wa. the topic marking particle. Wa. It marks my email address as the topic of the sentence. Think of it like as for in the expression as for my email address. Next is Karen's email address. K-A-R-E-N at mark inolang dot com First is Karen's name. K-A-R-E-N Next is the at sign. In Japanese, it's pronounced at mark at mark Note at mark can also be shortened to at a way to abbreviate at sign. Atto. Atto. Next is the domain name in Japanese. Inolang. And last is. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Altogether, Karen's email address is. K A R E N. At mark. Inolang.com Last is this. In this case, it's like the is in it is. This. Altogether, it's Watashinomailadresswa.kareen.atmarkinolang.com this. This literally means as for my email address. K A R E N at inolang.com, it is. But translates as My email address is K A R E N at inolang.com. Watashi no mail address wa K A R E N at mark inolang.com des. The pattern is Watashi no mail address wa email address des. My email address is email address. Watashi no mail address wa email address des. To use this pattern, 
Simply replace the email address placeholder with your email address. Imagine your email address is maki at inolang.com. maki at mark inolang.com maki at mark inolang.com Say, my email address is maki at inolang.com. Ready? わたしのメールアドレスは m a k i アットマークイノラングドットコムです。My email address is m a k i アットイノラングドットコム。わたしのメールアドレスは m a k i アットマークイノラングドットコムです。When giving your email address in Japanese, if the domain name is well known, you don't need to spell it out. For example, Gmail, Gmail. However, outside of well known domain names, it will usually be necessary to spell it out. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 私のメールアドレスは k a r e n アットマークイノラングドットコムです。私のメールアドレスは m a k i アットマークイノラングドットコムです。私のメールアドレスは b e n アットマークイノラングドットコムです。私のメールアドレスは t o m o k o アットマークイノラングドットコムです。メールアドレスは k k アットマークイノラングドットコムです。Did you notice how I omitted? 私の。メールアドレスは k k アットマークイノラングドットコムです。My email address is k k at inolang dot com. The speaker omitted 私の meaning my. When giving your email address in response to a request, you can omit the phrase 私の my. Because the context is clear in a two person conversation. The pattern is Mail address は Email address です Email address is Email address. Mail address は Email address です This can be shortened even further. KK at mark inorang dot com です When responding to a request, you can omit the whole phrase. Meaning, as for my email address, because it's clear from the context the speaker is giving their email address. This is the shortest answer to a request to give your email address. Email address. Des. It's email address. Email address. Des. You should be aware of these shortcuts, but for this lesson, We'll use the full sentence pattern. My email address is email address. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say dot com? Dot com. Dot com. 
and how to say inorang.com. 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 Do you remember how to say at sign? At mark. At mark. And how to spell Karen? K A R E N. K A R E N. Do you remember how to say email address? Mail address. Mail address. And how to say my email address? Watashi no mail address. Watashi no mail address. Do you remember how to say as for my email address? Watashi no mail address wa. Watashi no mail address wa. Do you remember how Karen says, My email address is k a r e n at sign inorang dot com. Watashi no mail address wa k a r e n at mark inorang dot com です。私のメールアドレスは k a r e n アットマークイノラングドットコムです。Do you remember how to say please? お願いします。お願いします。And how to say Miss Lee? リーさん。リーさん。Do you remember how to say the object marking particle? O. O. Do you remember the clerk's request? Miss Lee, your email address, please. Lee さん、メールアドレスをお願いします。リーさん、メールアドレスをお願いします。Let's practice. Imagine you're Ben Lee, and your email address is ben at inolang dot com. Ben at mark inolang dot com. Respond to the civil servant's request. Ready? メールアドレスをお願いします。私のメールアドレスは b e n アットマークイノラングドットコムです。Listen again and repeat. 私のメールアドレスは。ben アットマークイノラングドットコムです。私のメールアドレスは ben アットマークイノラングドットコムです。Let's try another. Imagine you're Tomoko Tanaka, and your email address is. T O M O K O アットマークイノラングドットコム。Ready? メールアドレスをお願いします
。私のメールアドレスは、tomoko.inorang.com です。Listen again and repeat. 私のメールアドレスは、tomoko.inorang.com です。私のメールアドレスは tomoko.inorang.com です。Let's try one more.Imagine your Kana Kano and your email address is kk.inorang.com。Ready? メールアドレスをお願いします。私のメールアドレスは k k i n o r a n g c o m です。Listen again and repeat. 私のメールアドレスは k k i n o r a n g c o m です。kk.inorang.com です。Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, What are you good at? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about what you're good at doing. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. 何が得意ですか語学が得意です。Once more with the English translation. 何が得意ですか What are you good at? 語学が得意です。I'm good at languages. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What are you good at? That's. 何が得意ですか Listen to it again. 何が得意ですか何が得意ですか This Japanese sentence literally translates as What good at are you? But it means What are you good at? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Skill. が得意です This Japanese sentence literally translates as Skill good at I am. But it means I'm good at skill. For example, I'm good at languages. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk about your skills. Language. 語学、語学、language、語学、sales、セールス、セールス、sales、セールス、typing、タイピング、タイピング。Typing. Typing. Video editing. Video henshu. Video henshu. Video editing. Video henshu. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 何が得意ですかセールスが得意です。What are you good at? 何が得意ですか I'm good at sales. 
セールスが得意です。何が得意ですかタイピングが得意です。What are you good at? 何が得意ですか I'm good at typing. タイピングが得意です。何が得意ですかビデオ編集が得意です。What are you good at? 何が得意ですか I'm good at video editing. ビデオ編集が得意です。Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, What are you good at? Nani ga tokui desu ka? Imagine you're good at sales. Do you remember how to say, Sales? Sales. Sales. Say, I'm good at sales. セールスが得意です。Now, answer the question saying you're good at sales. 何が得意ですか。セールスが得意です。Now, imagine you're good at typing. Do you remember how to say typing? タイピング。タイピング。Say, I'm good at typing. Typing が得意です。Now answer the question saying you're good at typing. 何が得意ですか Typing が得意です。Now imagine you're good at video editing. Do you remember how to say video editing? Video Henshu. Video Henshu. Say, I'm good at video editing. Video Henshu ga tokui desu. Now answer the question saying you're good at video editing. Nani ga tokui desu ka? ビデオ編集が得意ですこんにちは Hello こんにちはこんにちは Hello 人々がこんにちはと言っている The people are saying hello 人々がこんにちはと言っている。すみません。Excuse me. すみません。すみません。Excuse me. すみません。これください。Excuse me. This one, please. すみません。これください。ごめんなさい。I'm sorry. ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。I'm sorry. 一緒に行けなくてごめんなさい。Sorry, I can't go with you. 一緒に行けなくてごめんなさい。おやすみなさい。Good night. おやすみなさい。おやすみなさい。Good night.
黒川先生、おやすみなさい。Good night, Mr. 黒川。黒川先生、おやすみなさい。はじめまして。Nice to meet you. はじめまして。はじめまして。Nice to meet you. 安倍さん、はじめまして。田代と申します。Mr. Abe, nice to meet you. I'm Tashiro. Abe さん、はじめまして。田代と申します。お元気ですか ?How are you? お元気ですかお元気ですか ?How are you? こんにちは、松島さん。お元気ですか ?Hello, Mr. 松島。How are you? こんにちは、松島さん。お元気ですかはい。Yes! はい。はい。Yes. はい、これは私のです。Yes, this is mine. はい、これは私のです。いいえ。No. いいえ。いいえ。No. いいえ、私は盗んでいません。No, I didn't steal it. いいえ、私は盗んでいません。ありがとう。Thank you. ありがとう。ありがとう。Thank you. ありがとう。でも、私はこれを注文していません。Thank you, but I didn't order this. ありがとう。でも、私はこれを注文していません。私は、です。I'm 私は、です。私は、です。I'm? 私はエミリー・マーティンです。I'm Emily Martin. 私はエミリー・マーティンです。こんにちは。Hello. すみません。Excuse me. ごめんなさい。I'm sorry. おやすみなさい。Good night. はじめまして。Nice to meet you. お元気ですか ?How are you? はい。Yes. いいえ。No. ありがとう。Thank you. 私は、です。I'm... How are your Japanese listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. 男の人と女の人が話しています。二人はいつマッサージに行きますか
友達が新しいマッサージの店をオープンしましたマッサージの店ですか行きたいです土曜日は時間ありますか土曜日は忙しいですが日曜日はどうですか日曜日は休みです金曜日はどうですかあ、いいですね二人はいつマッサージに行きますか男の人と女の人が話しています二人はいつマッサージに行きますか友達が新しいマッサージの店をオープンしましたマッサージの店ですか行きたいです土曜日は時間ありますか土曜日は忙しいですが日曜日はどうですか日曜日は休みです金曜日はどうですかあ、いいですね How are your Japanese listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. 女の人がお店の人と話しています。女の人はこれから何階に行きますかすみません。女の服はどこですか女の服は三階と四階と五階にあります。コートは何階ですか。コートは四階にあります。エレベーターはそちらにあります。四階ですね。ありがとうございます。女の人はこれから何階に行きますか。女の人がお店の人と話しています。女の人はこれから何階に行きますかすみません。女の服はどこですか女の服は3階と4階と5階にあります。コートは何階ですかコートは4階にあります。エレベーターはそちらにあります。4階ですね。ありがとうございます。Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is Your first steps to learning a language, the fundamentals welcome pack. Is there a best way to learn a language? Many learners waste time trying to find the perfect resource, but never stick with anyone long enough to make progress because there's always a new, shinier app. But resources aside, is there a best way to learn a language? Well, there is. Keep watching this month's episode. You'll discover why you'll learn faster by starting with the fundamentals, the trunk based knowledge approach to learning, how to get our free welcome pack, and much more. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the 24 hour survival phrases PDF cheat sheet. Traveling and want to learn enough of the language to survive? Then these survival phrases will help you get by in the first 24 hours. Second, the how are you and how to answer it writing workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll learn all the ways to ask and answer the question, How are you? And you'll be able to practice your writing skills as well. Download it for free right now. Third, 30 music words for beginners. Learn how to say song, lyrics, melody, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Fourth, can you talk about roads in your target language? Learn how to say road, highway, crosswalk, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. And fifth, must know Father's Day vocabulary. Can you say Father's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one minute vocabulary lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. Your first steps to learning a language the fundamentals welcome pack. So, is there a best way to learn a language? 
You can download a Shiny app and start learning words on day one. But is that the right way to learn the language? Well, if you want to just know words, sure, that works. But if you want to learn a language from the ground up, understand how it works, be able to create your own sentences, and speak freely, you'll quickly realize that just learning words doesn't help you do that. What you need is not the next shiniest app, but to start with the fundamentals. Part 1. Why starting with the fundamentals is the best way to learn. What are the fundamentals of languages? Fundamentals are the alphabet, pronunciation, beginner-level grammar rules, and core words and phrases. And this, starting from the fundamentals, is also something called trunk-based knowledge. If you imagine a tree, it starts from the roots to the trunk and to the branches and then the leaves. And the leaves are the details, the words and phrases. And the roots and trunk are the foundation of it all. If you focus on the leaves, or learning just the words and phrases, you may get to know some of the language and be able to say some things. But you'll struggle with coming up with your own sentences and speaking freely. And if you've learned like that for a bit, you'll soon realize you don't actually understand the language and need to backtrack and start over. But if you start with the roots and trunk, the fundamentals, you learn to read, the pronunciation, the grammar rules, then everything else you learn later on is built on top of these fundamentals and will make mastering the language easier than the other way around. For example, if you learn the alphabet, then writing, reading, and pronunciation become attainable. And with the proper pronunciation, you can start speaking. Skip it and you'll get nowhere. So starting with the fundamentals is the best way to start learning a language, or anything. Now, you may wonder, isn't this obvious? If you're learning in class where a teacher took the time to plan out the curriculum, it is obvious and it's done for you. But if you're learning on your own, it's not. And if you're using an app or watching videos that weren't designed to teach you the right way, you're starting off on the wrong foot. Starting with the foundation is also, in a way, the faster way to learn a language, simply because it saves you the extra time of backtracking to relearn the basics that you missed. So how do you start with the basics? Let's get into the second part. Part 2. How to learn the basics with our free welcome pack. Anytime you attempt to learn something new, your very first step should be to ask, what are the must-know basics? If you're learning in a class with a teacher who planned out the curriculum for you, it's all done for you. But if you're learning alone, as is the case with many language learners, and if you don't know the right way to approach learning, then it won't be as obvious. You might download an app or start watching YouTube videos, and you'll quickly find yourself struggling to understand how the language works, how the conjugations work, how to create your own sentences, and what's right or wrong. You'll always feel like you're missing something. And that's exactly why we created the Fundamentals Welcome Pack, which you can get for free. Keep watching till the end to find out how. The Welcome Pack is a pack of PDF cheat sheets covering the fundamentals, alphabet, beginner grammar, conversational patterns, words, phrases, and culture. You can also start learning with our recommended learning pathway, but be sure to use this Welcome Pack at the same time. And here's how. For the alphabet cheat sheet, you should spend the first two or three days practicing writing out the alphabet for 10 or 20 minutes a day or so. If your target language uses a non-Roman alphabet, then it may take you longer. For example, with Japanese, most language classes spend up to a week on the hiragana and katakana. Next, you'll find the core words and core phrases cheat sheets. These are all the words and phrases that a beginner must know. Just spend a few minutes a day reading and saying these words out loud. You can also practice writing them out, which will reinforce the alphabet as well. Remember, you don't have to memorize all the words all at once, because you'll see these words again and again later when you're taking our lessons. Then there's the grammar cheat sheet that will teach you simple grammar patterns. Copy out the sample sentences and try to create your own sentences as well. With the conversational phrases cheat sheet, you'll learn some common questions and all the possible ways to answer them in the target language. And these phrases will use the same grammar patterns that you learned earlier. If you want to download our welcome pack, just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the power of a teacher and the difference a teacher can make as you work toward achieving your speaking goals. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. 
And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Learning a language can be tough because there's just so much to do. There's grammar, reading, speaking, writing, and so on. But there is a way to learn and practice all seven skills of a language in one shot without overwhelming yourself and without having to split your attention across tons of books, apps, and programs. How to master the seven language skills in one shot without overwhelming yourself. How? In this guide, you'll discover one, the seven language skills, two, why you don't have to learn each skill one at a time, and three, how to pick up each skill effortlessly if you follow our specially designed learning pathway. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. First, so what are the seven language skills? They are speaking, listening, reading, writing, grammar, vocabulary, and culture but that's a lot to learn all at once. Plus, resources cover only one or two skills at a time. And that's why you'll see learners who are good at reading or translating words, but not so good at speaking and listening. So second, how can you learn and practice all seven skills without overwhelming yourself? With our learning program, it's just a matter of taking a quick five or 10 minute lesson. When you sign up, you'll automatically get a learning pathway of lessons to follow. Just play a lesson and you'll hear a quick practical conversation. Then our teachers slow it down and explain all the words, grammar rules, and cultural nuances inside. So already, you're improving your listening skills and learning vocabulary, grammar, and culture. And if you shadow or repeat what you hear, you start speaking as well. You can also read along with the transcript while you're taking the lesson, which means you're practicing reading. So you've already covered six of the seven skills with one quick lesson, which took you just a few minutes. Once you're done with the lesson, if you want more practice, you can review the conversation one line at a time with the dialogue tool, which helps with listening and reading. Practice speaking the lines from the conversation with the voice recording tool. Review the grammar, cultural notes, and vocabulary with the lesson notes. And you can send the lesson vocabulary to your word bank or flashcards to drill them later. To practice writing, just leave a comment in the comment section and our teachers will respond to you with feedback. You can write out the lesson dialogue and vocabulary into a personal notebook. And if you're a Premium Plus user, you can practice writing with the help of your teacher. Now, after every few lessons, you'll get multiple choice assessments, which test you on listening, reading, grammar, and vocabulary and hand-graded assessments, which test you on speaking and writing. And the goal of these assessments is to test you on what you've learned in the last few lessons, so that you can practice the language and so you don't forget what you've learned. So, if you just follow the learning pathway and take the lessons, you can easily learn and practice all seven language skills. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. If you want to successfully learn a language, then it's all about time. The amount of time you spend learning and exposing yourself in the language. And the more you expose yourself to the language, the better the words, phrases, and grammar rules you learned will stick, simply because you get used to them. And for that, you need a ton of lessons and a ton of exposure. The good news? You get just that with our lesson library inside of our learning system. How to learn tons of language and boost your exposure with the lesson library. And in this quick guide, you'll learn all about it, how to level up your language and boost your exposure. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. One, so what's the lesson library? The lesson library is our collection of learning pathways, all made by real teachers, from absolute beginner level all the way up to the advanced level. There are hundreds and hundreds of lessons inside, including our three minute series, top 25 questions you need to know, conversational phrases video series, and more. Giving you all the lessons you need to learn and master the language. And if that sounds like too much, don't worry. Two, here's how you level up your language with our lesson library. When you join, you instantly get a recommended pathway of lessons. So you have a clear pathway of lessons to follow. 
Instead of wondering where to start, just look for the recommended pathway on your dashboard and at the top of the lesson library. The level one pathway is for absolute beginners. Level two is for beginners and you can go all the way up to level five, the advanced level. So if you follow the recommended pathways, you can take your language from zero to speaking and understanding advanced conversations. Three, you can customize your learning to boost your exposure. If you want to take on other lessons on top of the recommended ones, just visit the lesson library, scroll through the pathways available for your level, and add the ones you like to your dashboard. Four, you can master speaking, reading, writing, and listening. Just sort the pathways by skill via the side menu inside the lesson library and find the pathway that's right for you. So, if you want to learn the language the fast, fun, and easy way with our quick audio and video lessons and get full access to hundreds and hundreds of lessons, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you're tired of knowing and speaking the language at a basic level and want to express yourself fluently just like native speakers, then you'll need to learn grammar. The problem? It can be tricky to learn. But don't worry, in this guide you'll discover how to learn and master grammar with the Grammar Bank. One, where to get all of the grammar explanations you'll ever need. Two, the best way to learn grammar that's right for your level. And three, how to expose yourself to real examples until the rules become natural to you with a study tool called the Grammar Bank inside of our learning program. But first, if you don't yet have access to our program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. First, what is the Grammar Bank? The Grammar Bank is like a grammar dictionary, except online. It's a database of the must-know grammar rules and explanations that makes it easy to look up specific rules and learn them. Look for it in the top menu of our site. Two, how do you learn grammar with it? The best way to learn grammar is not to just study rules, but to learn in context and hear the grammar used in real life. And that's exactly how you learn with our lessons. You learn a quick conversation and hear how the grammar rules are used within that conversation. Three, what if you come across grammar that you're not familiar with? Or what if you want to review a specific rule without going back to redo a lesson? That's where the grammar bank comes in. You can look up grammar rules and get the explanations, examples, and links to lessons where we cover these rules. You can also sort grammar by learning level. So if you're an absolute beginner and want to make sure you know all of the absolute beginner grammar rules, you can do just that with the Grammar Bank. You can also sort the rules by spelling, category, and lesson series. And if you want to get used to the grammar patterns so that you can use them in conversation and become fluent, the best way is to expose yourself to examples as much as possible. Grammar is hard at first, but gets easy once you get used to it with enough exposure. Be sure to access the related lessons inside the Grammar Bank and listen to the native conversations that use the rule as much as possible. So, if you want to become fluent and speak perfectly, you'll need grammar. Take advantage of the Grammar Bank inside of our learning program. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.